So here we have the 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch. I'm doing a fresh boot. I do have an SSD installed so you can see it loads up really fast. Now let's show up the dashboard so you can show that I haven't had the computer on in a very long time. Now let's look at the CPU temps. I know it's kind of hard. It's not focusing, but it's 36. Focus. 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 Let's see. Very hard to focus. Okay, there we go. 35. Okay, now watch. I'm going to play a YouTube video using Safari. Okay, so I'm loading up Safari. We're doing a YouTube video in 1080p. Okay, 1080p. HD. Okay. Now let's do this scenery video. Up the resolution to 1080p. And watch those temperatures rise. Okay, so let's try and get it where it uh, can focus. There we go. Okay, so it's at 48, 51. And by the way, I've seen this go up to 90 degrees. Okay. Understand that uh, um, maybe maybe uh, you can't see it, but... Uh, the enclosure uh, temperature, you can see it's really cold. There it is. And it's climbing to 60 degrees. 61. Like I said, I've seen this go up to 90 degrees. Okay, just by watching a YouTube video, which is pretty damn ridiculous. Okay. 62. Remember, this was a cold boot up, meaning the computer was not on. It, um,. It was really cold, and my house temperature is really cold right now, too, because it's winter. Well, not really winter, but it feels like winter. It was 40-something degrees. 67 YouTube videos still playing. I'm not even doing anything else. 65, stupid camera doesn't focus right. Let me back up a little. Maybe it'll be better that way. There we go. 68, okay, and it'll just keep climbing. Sixty-nine. YouTube video still playing. Show you. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but it's back there. But you have to believe me. There it is. And I'm running on battery. It's now at seventy-one. Move the mouse here. Seventy-one degrees on a YouTube video is pretty ridiculous. This isn't even like gaming or anything. It's just what you would do, what you would call normal web browsing, okay? Now let me do something really quick, just so, uh, let me actually, zo I'm doing the full zoom. I've noticed that when I do a full zoom, it actually heats up a lot faster, probably because it's rendering, a, you know, the whole screen. So, Let's just give it another minute. And give it a few more seconds. One thing to note is that when you run Windows 7, Apple knows of this problem, so they've actually disabled Turbo Boost, which sucks because if you're buying this Core i7 laptop, which most people do run Windows, um, you're not going to take advantage of Turbo Boost. So, in theory, if you have the Core i5, you're actually running quicker because the Core i5, they haven't disabled it. Okay, so let's take a look here now. What are my temps? Temperatures are 82. 82 degrees. I know it's hard to see, but I can tell you right now it's 82. Just uh, got to believe me. Stupid thing doesn't focus really well. Okay, dropped a little bit to 79. So, anyway. 
if I keep playing with the computer, like I said, I've seen temperatures up to 90 degrees just by normal browsing, okay? Um, let me show you, and now it's up to 82 again. Let me show you uh, Windows, and the fan is running at about 2,000 RPM, which is really fast. Of course, it can run faster, but, you know, for a laptop, it's really, really fast. Okay, so anyhow, we're going to power up uh, Windows and show you... Uh, that it runs even hotter. Stay tuned after the break. Okay, so I loaded up Windows. As you can see that there is zero processes, meaning the processor is not doing any work right now. The temperature is 63, 62. Those are two cores, um, since it is a dual core processor. Core i7, just so you could see. Core i7, it's kind of hard to see. Anyhow, so I'm going to reset the the temperature so that you could see what the maximum temp it will reach. And right now at idle, okay, idling, it's at 63 degrees, okay? That has been the maximum temperature currently right now. It's about 60 61, okay? So, let's do the same video test as we did with the other OS the Mac operating system. We'll do a 1080p, okay? Full screen. Now with this one, nice thing about it is the since uh, real temp actually records the temperature, I don't necessarily need to be looking at it um, in real time per se. But I will tell you that uh, temperatures I've seen them hit almost 100 degrees just watching a YouTube video, okay? On the Mac side, it was 90 degrees. Here you will see uh, it will hit probably close to 100. Now, again, when I've hit 100, it's web browsing, doing a couple other stuff, multitasking, but nothing out of the ordinary like playing a video game. And remember, Apple is throttling it down meaning that you can't use turbo boost okay so let's take a look at the temps what the max are so far look at that maximum so far has been 82 85 just hit 85 okay and uh, that's very very hot for uh, a laptop especially if, if you're not even gaming um, it's pretty uh pretty sad this laptop's really nice and the uh, processor has potential one of the biggest reasons I think that this is happening is because of uh, Apple's not redesigning the MacBook Pro line unfortunately when they release this or however you want to look at it fortunately or unfortunately when they release the MacBook Pro uh, you know they were using other processors that were probably not getting as hot as a Core i7. The Core i7 runs really hot. Oops, what am I doing here? Okay, there we go. It's 86 now. Okay, that's been the max, and right now it's running 85, 86. You know, just keep getting hotter and hotter. So anyhow, the the reason why I believe, and I'll just show you really quick. Let me actually just power this down. Um, most of you have seen this. Sorry, I'm just using one hand here. There's no ventilation at all. The only vents are in the back, okay? But as far as like any other modern laptop, there's no vents. The only vent that you that it has, it's right here, and it's very, very slim. I mean, you could barely put a piece of paper through it. Um, that's how slim it is. So I think that this notebook needs to be redesigned. Uh, to accept modern processors clearly um, the design itself is nice and modern but it has uh, it has reached its full potential especially with uh, these new modern processors that currently exist so hopefully this was uh, inform this was informative and uh, if you guys have any questions let me know leave them down in the comments area